Neanderthals still living with us, to the largest primate ever. Here are 15 ancient mysterious human ancestors. 15. Plesiotopus now, this creature dates to around 55 million years ago and is among the most ancient mammals that resemble primates. They were adept climbers, comparable to tree squirrels or marsupials like possums that live in trees. At less than 5 pounds, the animal would have appeared like a small lemur, with long claws and short, solid limbs, making it an arboreal quadruped. Now, some sources cite this animal as an ancestor to all primates. Similar to most modern mammals, these creatures gave birth to infants that were fully formed, but helpless. 14. Proconsul Fossils of these primates have been located in East Africa, and they date back some 25 million years to the Miocene epoch. Four species, which vary in body size, have been classified so far. They had a mix of physical traits of old-world monkeys and apes. Monkey-like traits included a long, pliable neck and curved fingers. Ape-like features included their facial structure, grasping ability, and most notably, the lack of a tail, much like present-day apes. Experts say that Proconsul may have been part of the common ancestral lineage shared by humans, great apes, and gibbons, but that has not been definitively determined nor has its ancestral relationship to the chimpanzee. But if that is proven, Proconsul would certainly be ancestral to other apes as well. 13. Oranopithecus There were two species of this extinct great ape, one from Greece and one from Turkey. Both lived during the late Miocene, upwards of 9.5 million years ago. Now, By some accounts, the Greek specimen could have been the final ancestor common to humans and apes, and might have even been a direct forerunner of humans, although there is a lot of conflicting views about that one. Experts say the species was likely a quadruped and exhibited a greater sexual dimorphism or size difference between the sexes than seen in extant species of great apes. 12. Sahelanthropus Fossils of this creature have been dated to around 7 million years ago and indicate it was also around during the Miocene epoch, possibly near the time that humans split from chimpanzees. Some experts do in fact say that the creature could represent a common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees. However, when its fossils were discovered in the Jurub Desert in Chad in the early 2000s, the species was placed as a human ancestor, but not a chimpanzee ancestor, and there's still the chance that this species is not an ancestor of either, but could still be related to both. Go figure out that one. 11. Ardi now that is short for Ardipithecus, which refers to the fossilized remains of a creature thought to be a primitive human-like female anthropoid. It was found in Ethiopia in 1994, and at nearly four and a half million years old, it's the most complete early hominid specimen, including most of the skull, hands, and feet. With an estimated height of about four feet, she would have weighed about 110 pounds, and she would have had some human-like traits, including a bipedal walk, along with opposable thumbs and big toes which would have helped her with tree climbing. Evidence suggests that while she was in the trees, she moved like a quadruped, but could walk upright while on the ground. It's considered a significant discovery regarding human evolution. Although it is still not known, Ardi's species actually developed into Homo sapiens. 10. Lucy more formally known as AL288-1, this name refers to the skeleton of a female hominin which was found in the Awash Valley of Ethiopia in 1974. The specimen was dated at around 3.2 million years old and represents about 40% of the skeleton. Because the creature had a small skull but was thought to walk upright bipedally, experts say that supports the human evolution theory that an increase in brain size was preceded by bipedal Based on a reconstruction, Lucy would have stood 3.7 feet tall, or 1.1 meters, and weighed around 64 pounds, or 29 kilograms, and resembled a chimpanzee. The story of Lucy caught the public's interest, and she went on to worldwide fame. In addition to books, Lucy was promoted in several tours that included the famous fossil assembly, along with assorted artifacts. Did you know that Lucy's name was inspired by the Beatles song, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds? 9. 
Paranthropus. The members of this extinct genus are typically characterized by a robust physique, which includes several gorilla-like traits like powerful jaw muscles and broad herbivorous teeth. Its fossils were discovered in 1938 in South Africa and indicated it would have appeared about 2.7 million years ago. Most of them were solidly built and stood under 5 feet tall. The hips, legs, and feet would have been similar to those of modern-day humans and indicate that they walked bipedally. But experts say they were not so resourceful or as adaptable to a changing climate as were other homonyms, and that played a key role in their going extinct. 8. The Manisi Skull The remains of five hominids dated at nearly 2 million years old were discovered in Manisi, Georgia in Eurasia. Well-preserved pieces of one skull in particular were assembled together between 2000 and 2005. Now that was designated as skull number 5, and that fossil has been documented as the most complete and oldest adult hominid skull yet discovered. Experts say that fossils of the five individuals indicate that they had primitive ape-like features and a brain case about one-third the size of a modern human. Although researchers initially thought they had found an entirely new species, the individuals have now been classified within Homo erectus, although that decision has proved controversial. Anthropologists generally accept that the extinct species originated in Africa, then spread out across Eurasia and into China and Indonesia. The Georgia discovery might be evidence of a genetic continuity that stretched across vast geographical distances all of which might indicate that other Homo species of the time period might not have been separate species at all, but simply variations on a single one, that being Homo erectus. Now, should that be proven, the way in which ancient human relatives are classified would have to be completely restructured. 7. Homo erectus And we were just talking about these extinct homonyms, so to dig in a little further, Homo erectus means upright man which is a reference to its upright bipedal walk. Experts say these archaic humans existed during most of the Pleistocene epoch, with fossils dating to around 1.9 million years ago. And other sources say they would not have died out until about 100,000 years ago. They likely originated in East Africa, then spread out to migrate into Eurasia, as we've noted. The fossils have been found from South Africa to Indonesia. Compared to earlier human ancestors, Homo erectus was taller and had larger brains, which might help explain their intelligence. When hunting for food, they were known to use tools, technology, and culture. While not all scientists accept Homo erectus as a direct ancestor to Homo sapiens, that species did enjoy a long existence that approached some 2 million years, and just compare that with modern humans who have been around for some 200,000 years. 6. Gigantopithecus its name means giant ape, and that is a great fit for this enormous primate. They could stand close to 10 feet tall and weigh more than 1,300 pounds, around the size of a polar bear. And that serves to make this species the largest primates yet known to have existed. They would have roamed what is now China, Vietnam, and India around 9 million years ago. And while it's often depicted as a giant gorilla, it probably looked more like an overgrown orangutan. Experts think that Gigantopithecus probably died out around 100,000 years ago. While the timeline could have overlapped with certain hominid species, experts think their extinction was due more to climate change than conflict. And that's because their normal food source of fruits would have dwindled as forests changed into savannas during the Pleistocene era. And by the way, there are some theories that a few of these critters managed to survive and inspire the legend of Bigfoot. What do you think about that one? 5. Flores Man Skeletal remains of this hominin were found in 2003 on the island of Flores in Indonesia, and it was soon nicknamed the Hobbit. The reference to J.R.R. Tolkien's works was due to the size of the specimen discovered. That individual would have stood around 3.5 feet tall and weighed less than 60 pounds, about the size of the Middle Earth inhabitants. While skeletal remains were dated to around 100,000 years old, stone tools found by the remains dated nearly twice as old. Researchers say the reason for the specimen's small body and brain size might be traced to the island's limited food sources, resulting in a type of insular dwarfism. Now That has yet to be determined, as does their scientific classification. It is still undecided whether or not Flores man represents a species that is distinct from modern humans. 
4. Denisovans Now, depending upon the source, this represents either a human subspecies or an altogether separate species that went extinct. In fact, that status is still under debate. Evidence of these hominids was discovered in 2010 in the Denisova Caves of Siberia's Altai Mountains. A finger bone fragment dated at around 41,000 years was shown to be genetically distinct from Neanderthals and modern humans. A further evidence suggested a common link with the Neanderthals and that the Denisovans may have interbred with the ancestors of modern humans. Now, it's still unsure exactly what they look like, but the Denisovans were likely robust specimens, not unlike Neanderthals. Experts say that today, certain peoples, including Australian Aborigines, can possess up to 5% Denisovan DNA. And did you know that DNA analysis of the cave remains has also indicated that humans, Neanderthals, and Denisovans may have all shared a common ancestor around a million years ago? 3. Neanderthals Part 1 now, whether you want to pronounce it Neanderthals or Neanderthals, this is probably the best-known name on our list. These archaic humans inhabited Europe and Asia and apparently went extinct around 40,000 years ago. Or did they? That is still a matter of conjecture among researchers. Now, generally, Neanderthals are either considered a distinct species or a subspecies of Homo sapiens. As compared to modern humans, they had a bigger body with a stockier build and short legs. Males could stand up to around 66 inches tall and would have weighed about 170 pounds. Both humans and Neanderthals are thought to have shared a common ancestor in Homo erectus, who was previously mentioned. And according to genetic evidence, the timelines of the two species overlapped by about 5,000 years, during which period it seems they got to know each other on an intimate basis. There is evidence to prove that interbreeding did occur, although scientists are not exactly clear in what region or how frequently the interactions took place. At any rate, a report in 2010 found that modern non-Africans and Neanderthals shared DNA that was a 99.7% match. And that is greater than the percentage of DNA than humans share with chimpanzees at 98.8%. 2. Neanderthals Part 2 Disappearing Act so, did Neanderthals really go extinct? Well, as we just mentioned, their DNA does live on in some modern-day humans, and that has led experts to opine that Neanderthals did not go extinct, at least not in the more traditional manner. In this point of view, our apparent cousins just disappeared, as they were absorbed by modern humans and essentially bred out of existence. Some other theories argue that humans and Neanderthals had violent conflicts over food and resources that decimated the numbers, and others say that the disappearance was due to volcanic catastrophe or climate change. Tell us what you think in the comments. One, the oldest modern humans. Jebel Ihad is the name of a cave and archeological site in Morocco. And while that location might be unfamiliar, the discoveries made within might possibly be. The site was found to contain the earliest known fossilized remains of Homo sapiens, or basically us. Experts have dated those remains and the stone tools found with them at around 315,000 years old, and that would serve to make them the most ancient fossil remains of anatomically modern human beings. In fact, the main difference between the skulls of the ancient Homo sapiens and the present-day counterpart is the elongated shape of the fossil's brain case, and that suggests that the shape of the brain, along with brain functions, may have evolved more recently within the Homo sapiens lineage than was previously thought. Experts also note that the discovery indicates that Homo sapiens had already migrated across most of Africa some 300,000 years ago. 2. 